After Flyer grounded at Midway, Captain Crowley sent the maneuvering watch forward to drop the anchor, hoping to pull Flyer off the reef. These men, James Call, Clyde Gerber, Waite Daggy, and led by Chief Kenneth Gwynne, came off the after gun deck and headed for the bow. They had just cleared the conning tower when a massive wave swept across the foredeck. Gerber and Call were swept overboard and quickly out of reach. Ken Gwynne suffered minor injuries to his left wrist. Wait Daggy, however, was badly injured. The wave dragged him down the deck and slammed him into the conning tower. Gwynne grabbed him and hauled him, nearly unconscious, up to the bridge and down into the boat. Pharmacist's mate, Peter Gazika of Watervliet, New York, called Doc, was about to be put to the test, and in the worst kind of conditions. When they retrieved Daggy and brought him back to the bunker, and saw how injured he was, and no way we could get him ashore to medical facilities. They put him on a sailor's bunk, if you will, back in the quarter where the pharmacist kept all of his medicines. And then they had other crew members to lie on, sit on, different bunks around this one for Daggy. And each one of them had one of our battle lanterns to furnish him to furnish him a light to perform the surgery. And then as the ship would roll from one side to the other, it would hesitate upright for a few seconds, and during those few seconds, the pharmacist would perform his surgery and then hold his scalpel while it rolled over again, and then it when it came back up. Now he removed this awful piece of wood from his mouth, and I have forgotten whether he pulled the remainder of those two teeth or not. I'm not sure, but I think he did. And uh, after we were able to get Daggy to medical facilities on the shore, a doctor that examined him said he could not have done a better job himself. That it was amazing what this man had accomplished under these conditions. I can remember seeing Daggy now and the scar left on his lip. Once Daggy was through his initial surgery and treatment, Doc was not done. In addition to Gwen's wrist, Doc also treated Harry Erickson for a head contusion and Lieutenant Adams to abrasions for his hands and feet. Over the next several days he would treat many sailors of Flyer and assist the captain in deciding who was healthy enough to be transferred to the McCall and on to Midway.